Hello everyone and welcome to our restorative yoga practice for today. Thank you for joining me. You will need a pillow or a bolster for our practice. And when you're ready, just meet me in the center of your mat in a kneeling position. We're just going to stretch the upper body to begin with. So when you're ready, place your hands together, interlace your fingers. We're just going to push our hands towards the sky, open through the chest. Palms are facing towards the sky. This will be a really nice stretch for the shoulders and the chest as well as the armpits. Take a few deep breaths then when you're ready place your left hand to the mat, right arm comes over your head, sit your hips over to the right side. Take your gaze up to the sky and really stretch through those fingertips, elongating through the side body, really opening up the chest as well. Keep that gaze ahead as much as you can or up to the sky. Then we're going to come over to the other side, sit your hips to the left side, left arm comes over your head, really reach those fingertips nice and far, gaze is up towards the sky or ahead, whichever feels better for your neck. Stretch out that side body and the armpit, stretch out the chest, hold for one more deep breath. When you're ready, begin to come back to centre, we're just going to repeat that on the other side. What we're going to do this time, just to make it a little bit more intense for that side body, we're going to come down onto our left forearm. This will really get in deep into the right hip and the right side of the rib cage. Hold for a few breaths. Deep, nice inhales, expanding through the rib cage, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Then place the right hand down to the mat over towards the left side. Try and bring your forehead down to the mat as much as you can. Again, we're still going into the right side of the body here, expanding through the rib cage, also stretching out the right shoulder. Hold for a few more breaths, then we're going to repeat on the other side. Beginning with our fold over to the other side this time, both hands out towards the opposite side, really stretching through the left shoulder this time and the left side body. Hold for a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Then when you're ready, we're going to come down onto our right forearm. Reach the left arm over the head. Keep your gaze up to the sky as much as you can without straining the neck. Really open through that left side body reaching far with those fingertips again come back to the breathing come back to that inhale and exhale through the nose and out through the mouth when you're ready come back to center return back into that kneeling posture now make your way to the back of the mat grab your bolster or your pillow we're going to take a wide-legged child's pose so when you're ready, come into a kneeling position, place the big toes together, the knees are apart, and just sit your bolster in between your legs. As you inhale, we're going to reach the arms up towards the sky. As we exhale, we're just going to fold over that pillow. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold down, hands cradling that pillow, forehead onto the pillow. Keep that spine nice and long. Really take a nice few deep breaths here. Elongate through the spine. Take a few moments just to take some relaxation.
Take one more deep inhale and exhale. When you're ready, make your way back into our kneeling position. Walk your hands in towards you. Then when you're ready, come on to your sit bones. We're going to take a forward fold. So slightly part the legs in this forward fold. We're just going to bring our bolster onto the lengthways side. Then we're just going to reach forward for our toes or just cradling, hugging that pillow. Release the forehead towards the pillow as much as you can. Hands are around the toes or underneath the knees. And again, I just want you to relax. Come back to the breathing. Make sure you're bending from the hips, not the lower back. Keep that spine as straight as you can. Really take deep breaths here, using your breath to go deeper into this pose. Slowly begin to rise to a neutral position with the spine. We're going to take that right leg and we're just going to draw the right heel towards the right glute so that your knee comes down to the mat, coming into half hero pose. Flex the left toes and again we're just going to fold, keeping our pillow where it is or maybe laying it flat. Forehead comes down to the pillow again stretching out that left hamstring and going deep into the right hip and the right quad. Come back to that breath, center yourself in the moment and just close your eyes. Immerse yourself in the posture. When you feel able to slowly rise back to a neutral position with the spine. We're going to repeat that on the other side. So straighten out the right leg, left heel comes to the left glute. Again, we're coming into our half hero posture. Flex the right toes and then we're just going to fold over that pillow, hugging that pillow in towards the chest, forehead or cheek comes down to the mat. Really feel a nice deep stretch in the right hamstrings and a nice stretch in the left quad.
begin to rise out of that posture and take your bolster behind you. We're going to come into a full hero pose if you can now. So when you're ready, right heel to right glute, left heel to left glute, knees come down to the mat. If this is only as far as you can go, then just stay upright or you can recline onto your forearms or even recline onto the bolster. If you're reclining all the way like I am, you can either take your arms up above your head, clasping the opposite elbow, or take your hands down onto your thighs. This is a really deep stretch for the quad and the psoas, so really breathe deeply into this posture. Close your eyes and take those deep inhales, deep exhales. Use that breath to just notice any tension you feel and melt it away. Begin to draw the chin in towards the chest and rise back up to seated. Keep your bolster exactly where it is, but we're going to untuck the legs, place the soles of the feet together, knees are apart, come into butterfly. Place your hands onto your knees and when you're ready, we're going to push one side down and we're just going to dip the other shoulder, looking over the shoulder. Then we're going to come to the other side and just repeat this a few times really find some mobility in the inner thighs. When you're ready, come back up to a neutral position of the spine. Then we're just gonna recline back over our bolster if you can. Come into our recline butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana. Again, we're just gonna close the eyes and go inward for a moment. If you want a deeper stretch in the upper body, you can cactus your arms like I am, taking them into a 90 degree angle. Really open up through the chest, expand the rib cage with each inhale, and with each exhale, melt away any tension you may feel.
On your next inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale here from the chest. As we inhale, we're going to rise back up into Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Take a quick stretch, leaning forward slightly, hands on the feet, opening up the inner thighs. And then when you're ready, grab our bolster. We're just going to extend our legs, coming into straddle pose. So taking our legs over mat width apart, flex the feet. Place the bolster in front of you between the legs and we're just going to fold onto that bolster. Cheek or forehead comes down to the mat. Make sure you're nice and comfortable here, breathing into the stretch in the inner thighs. This is our final posture for the practice. Take another deep breath and when you're ready, we're going to rise back up to seated. Join me in the center of our mat just to give thanks for the practice. Come into seated easy pose, place your hands over heart center in a prayer position and join me in saying namaste. Namaste and thank you for joining me.